Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how can we write test cases into Mocha. And as mentioned already, there are two different types through which you can write your test cases. If you are working in the BDD environment, you have to go for describe and it block. Describe mentions your suite and it mentions your test cases. Like uh, whenever we do our work, right, uh, testers must be familiar with this, right? So they create a suite, so they call it like sanity suite, and then they write all their test cases inside that. They create a regression suite and then they write respective test cases inside that suite, right? So we first create the suite, uh, and then we write specific test cases inside that suite, all right? So in case of BDD, we are going to use either describe in it or we are going to use context and specify. And when it comes to TDD, we are going to use suite and test, all right? So this is my channel, right? And if you don't know JavaScript because we are going to refer to, you know, functions and we are going to refer to uh, you know callback functions uh, and asynchronous as well synchronous asynchronous so uh, if you open my playlist right so if you go here this is a series on javascript tutorial for beginners so i'm starting from as you could say introduction to javascript and then i'm covering variables constant operators and so on and i'm also talking about functions and i'm also talking about you know function uh, expressions right and callbacks then towards the end i'm also talking about you know callback function single threaded and asynchronous and then i have also touch base on this asynchronous javascript callback promise and async await so they, these are the ways through which we can write asynchronous code into javascript so uh, make sure you spend some time if you're getting confused about it right so what i'm doing regarding you know the synchronous asynchronous and you know uh, callback function so please go and watch this out all right so let us open our visual studio code and we have to install some extension so first one is chai snippets right so click on this first one uh, nick hat so i haven't already uh, added that in my visual studio code and the other one is mocha and why do we require these snippets so because we don't want to type in the structure of suite and test cases every time we have to write that right so we are going to take advantage of these extensions to type out the uh, you know structure for us right so that way we will become more efficient all right so once that is done let's open this app.js right and make sure that you are you're watching this into uh, you know uh, in sequence because uh, uh, the what I'm going to cover will be dependent upon the previous videos in the series all right so now here what we are going to do we are going to write some synchronous code and we are going to create some functions so we are going to say function add and we're going to pass into parameters right so we are defining that function and all we are going to do in that is return a plus b that is it right so let me take a copy of it and create the subtraction function and in this all we are going to do is a minus b that's all right but i want to use this function i want to test these functions inside app.spec.js so i have to first export these functions and then i have to import these functions here right but how can i export that so in node.js right let's understand the concept of module right everything is module so if we do console.log save it and if you have to run a file into a node project all you have to do is node and then this is inside source you have to provide the full path of the file all right so okay so node src and then we are going to say what's the name of the file app.js and then when you run this so you could see that module uh, is an object which has got different properties right and we are going to take advantage of this exports right so currently it's empty so when i say exports module.exports module.exports right it's an object so i've already talked about uh, objects in my uh, video series on javascript so it's a key value thing right so key is add 
and the value is this add so this add refers to this function and as you could also see in the hint it is referring to this function all right i also have to export sub so i'm going to say sub and i'm going to say sub right so now this key could be anything all right so you can say a and b then in these modules uh, you would be referring to these functions with the help of these keys a and b all right so now uh, we keep it add add and there's another advantage of it in the modern javascript if the key and value both are same what you can essentially do is uh, you can simply say add and sub that is it now if we run this function again all right let's see what is there inside the export so now we are able to export the add as well as the sub all right great so half of the job is done let me remove this console save this file and now i have to import these function inside app.spec and the way i'm going to do is i'm going to say const and this is how i do it empty object equal to and in node you use require to import modules external modules and herein if it is your own module right what you have to do is you have to provide the full path so we are here if we do dot dot and forward slash it will take us to this test right and then source is the sibling so we can select source and if i do this so you can either mention the name of the file like app or you can also say app.js right choice is yours now once this is done if you come here and do control uh space right so you'll see both the methods in here so you can say add as well as you can say sub so that way is um, ensure that you know i'm referring to right files and right methods right we also work on assertions right so we are going to use chai and we are going to use the bdd version and the bdd version is expect so we are going to import that property as well so we are going to say expect is equal to require and now you could see that this is not something that is being written by us so chai is available all you have to do this and then we can see all the options we want expect property and we are done right so now first one is bdd we are going to use this right and we talked about it describe it or context and specify all right so by default uh, mocha supports bdd all right so therefore we don't need to make any import for uh, describe it or context and specify right so you can simply start writing describe so this is how you're going to do it describe and now you could see that in the hint all happening because of the extension that we added so it accepts two argument first one is the name and we are going to say name is sweet one and the second one is the callback function and we are going to use fat arrow syntax right and now our suite is ready now next step is we have to define test cases so the way we are going to do is using it all right and the first one is again the name of the test so we are going to say test uh, uh, let's give it a meaningful name so we're going to say add two comma three should return five okay and the second one is the second argument is the callback function again fat arrow all right so let us do that and now we are going to take advantage of this expect we're going to say expect some value all right and two dot b dot equal and we are going to pass in some value once the assertion is done next what we are going to do is we are going to run that and how are we going to run that so in the package.json what we did was we mentioned this mocha right now with the help of this all you need to do is you have to say npm space test right and this is our test so let us execute this and you could see that this is passed right it is very important to make sure that your test cases are failing when they should so 5 is not equal to 50 and this time it should fail all right so this is failing and you could also see the assertion error right which is being raised by this chai library right so great done uh let us do one more thing now we also have to see the uh, context and specify so now i am making a change here three and three should return six all right so let us change it to six and here also we have to make the change all right and now this has to be context 
right this is also a part of bdd and hence again we don't need to import that and here we are going to say specify now both are saved right and if you run this you should see that first one is failing and second one is passing all right so you could see now uh, in here suite one is failing and suite two is passed all right so that's how you're going to use it now what about tdd all right so tdd all right so now there are two ways right you can do so one is because like i mentioned mocha out of the box support uh you know bdd so what you can do is you can say const okay and you have to import few things from what from uh mocha right so then you have to provide uh mocha and here you are going to import suite like you see it's available and you also have to import test all right and now let me just take a copy of this okay and i say this is describe is my suite and test is my it all right rest of the things would remain the same let me give it a different name suite 2 and we are going to say 3 and 3 should return 6 all right and this has to be 6 and here also we have to make the change all right so done uh saved now let us execute the first one is bdd and second one is tdd all right so now you could see that suite 2 is is suite 1 is failed and suite 2 is passed all right so what is the other way you can uh, uh, you know uh, if what if you don't want to import this right so then you have to change the configuration of mocha and the way you are going to do is you are going to create a, a new file at the root of your project and i guess the name is mocha rc.js all right and in this file you are going to say module dot export and you are going to export the uh, configuration of mocha and herein you have to say ui is equal to tdd all right and you have to save this okay now this is saved go back to our test case file uh, comment this out all right and let us also comment this out for the time being and save this and now we just have only one test case and the way we are going to execute it pretty much same npm test and let's see if it runs now all right so this is now passing and by default if i just comment this out right it becomes bdd and if i execute this again i'll get an error because uh, suite and test are not defined right so if you come here suite is not defined so this is a slight change that you have to do. You have this file when you can control uh, configurations of Mocha. All right. So we have covered, uh, you know, BDD, TDD and different ways of creating suite and, you know, uh, test cases. And we have also talked about uh, how can we set the uh, default type of uh, Mocha, um, right? BDD or TDD with the help of this Mocha RCJS. Okay and if you want to read more about mocha this is a website just uh, go in here uh, there's a lot of documentation provided in here so you can uh, search for tdd and bdd and then accordingly uh, you know you can you can do your stuff so here you can see that you know bdd interface provide this and similarly uh, context is just an alias of describe like i mentioned right and specifies an alias of it same way you have tdd and therein we have suite and test all right that's how you're going to write it okay that's about uh, writing your synchronous test cases i'll see you in the next video thank you